On the east side of the sanctuary, we have the miracle windows, which represent Christ's ministry in the world, just as the parable windows represented his teaching. Here we see in the first window ne next to the lectern, we see the miracle of the loaves and fishes. And the key, which is the small panel in the bottom that illustrates the theme of the window, the key shows three loaves and two fishes. And on either side of the key, there is another loaf. So they're the five loaves and two fishes all together there in the bottom of the picture. The second panel is the miracle of the man blind from birth. Jesus restored his sight by mixing his own saliva with some dirt and then spreading the mud on the men's eye, man's eyes and telling him to go wash. And when he did, his sight was restored. The key here shows a finger mixing in the mud. The second pair of windows from the lectern has on the left-hand side the miracle at Cana, which is the turning of water into wine at the marriage that Jesus attended. And we see the large vessels containing the wine. The key picture in the bottom there shows water being poured into one of the vessels from a bucket. The second window shows the healing of the man who was paralyzed. This is the man who was let down through the roof by his friends on a pallet because there was such a large crowd that they couldn't get him close to Jesus in any other way. And the key there shows the bed being lowered down by ropes. The next window has two panels illustrating miracles associated with Jesus and the Sea of Galilee. In the first one, he's calming the storm. And the disciples in the boat are frightened, but Jesus uses his power to calm the storm, calm the waves so that they can move safely to shore. And the key shows a hand reaching out to the waves. In the second panel, we see the walking on water. We see the attempt that Peter makes to come to Jesus on the water and Jesus reaching out to hold him up when he begins to doubt and therefore starts to sink. And below that, we see the Cairo insignia and a cross below it with waves intersecting. The fourth pair of windows shows the miracle of the healing of the man who was possessed by many demons. And as you recall, the demons asked to be sent into the pigs, into the swine, and they rushed over the cliff and into the sea. The second window in this pair shows Jesus curing the 10 lepers. And the interesting thing about the story is that only one of them bothers to come back and thank Jesus for the cure. And we see in the main image, the other nine up above leaving, and the one man who has come back to thank Jesus. And in the key down below, there's a Roman numeral one, there's large and a small Roman numeral nine. The last pair of windows shows the miracle of the raising of the synagogue leader's daughter from death and the healing of the woman who had been afflicted for 12 years with a hemorrhage. In the first one, we see the little girl lying on her bed and Jesus raising her up. And the key panel shows his hand reaching out to hers. The second one, this is the woman who was afflicted with a hemorrhage who reached out and touched the hem of Jesus' robe and was cured. And the key shows her hand touching the hem of the robe.